While some sectors of the economy are being allowed to reopen, many businesses say they're being left behind. Gina Mangieri is always investigating. I found out there may soon be a one-stop resource online where everyone can find safety protocols and how to get approved to get back in business. Meanwhile, many in sectors not addressed yet in reopening proclamations say they feel left in the dark and left out, along with the tens of thousands that they employ. Business owners and workers are happy to see some sectors start to get the green light to reopen, but the approval process has some baffled. The narrative needs to change first to safe versus unsafe versus essential versus non-essential. You know, every business is essential because it's supporting a family and a small network within their community. We found the state does not yet have a system to tell all businesses what they would have to do to qualify for reopening, nor any way for them to submit self-initiated safety plans for review. I've been advocating as hard as we can just to have a path forward on not necessarily the day that we need to start, but what actions that we can take as business owners within our respective industries to really say, okay, great, we have a plan in place for when that day comes. We asked of the governor's office, his recovery navigator, Department of Health, HIEMA, and we found a central resource is not yet set up. The governor Monday told us the recovery navigator would handle it, but on Tuesday said it was a combination of local, federal, and trade association stakeholders deciding. We are working and, and looking at the CDC guidelines and the Department of Health is in contact uh, with the federal agencies. Uh, we have um, had meetings and discussions with um, the local uh, representatives of uh, agencies like the um, National uh, Restaurant Association and others. Um, there have been uh, many uh, guidance documents um, issued. We asked for more clarification and we're told there's not a set place for businesses to see safety protocol, but teams from the private and public sectors are working to identify best practices. And soon there will be a central website for addressing these issues. As for the governor's reference to trade associations having a seat at his current table, the state clarified that the reopening is based on a health care risk guidelines from the CDC from low to medium and is not driven by trade groups or lobbyists. And now that we're approaching, you know, going on month two of this, the fact that it's not in place is really scary. And there's groups of small business leaders right now just, you know, terrified on what to do next or to shut down. And, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a very tough few months for all of us. The clock is ticking as many business owners took on huge loans and personal debt to pay expenses and help staff. And those resources are about to run out for many. We'll continue to follow up. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.